Hello everyone. So yeah, I hope you all doing good. So as you know, there are projects regarding direct air capture of CO2, and one of our main objectives is to simulate the uh, uh, simulate a direct air capture plant on by using SM Plus. So this is the simulation, uh, and the main flow sheet or the entire flow sheet of the simulation. As you can see, that we have uh, completed until uh, the CO2 compression stages. So I'll briefly explain uh, the each block that we have used. So the first block is a uh, uh, is the air contactor block here we have used a mixer to mix the, the, the hydroxide solution and the carbon dioxide which is coming through the air uh, from which uh, from which a, car, a carbonate uh, carbonate ions uh, are produced which is uh, which are then separated by a separator the rest of the gases which contain nitrogen and oxygen are separated out and the aqueous solution containing the carbonate ions is sent to the next block next block which is the pellet reactor block so here we have uh, simulated the pellet reactor by using the uh, by using uh, a crystallizer which crystallizes the carbo carbonate ions into calcium carbonate uh, and the calcium hydroxide solution which uh, which takes part in the reaction is fed to the reactor uh, fed to the reactor from the slaker unit uh, from here the crystallizer output is sent to a rotary drum filter from which the aqueous uh, the solid calcium carbonate is separated and the aqueous solution which contains the, uh, the hydroxide ions is sent back to the air contactor unit uh, to be utilized again. So the next uh, next section is the calcium uh, is the calcina section where the calcium carbonate comes uh, and it is decomposes in the presence of heat and produces calcium oxide uh, and calcium carbonate. The calcium oxide is then separated out uh, is, is separated and sent back to uh, sent back to this upper uh, upper stream sent back to the slaker where it is uh, where it is uh, reacted with water and produce and it is slaked with water and again calcium hydroxide is regenerated which is sent back to the crystallizer uh, and uh, uh, from here the uh, the carbon dioxide which is, which is in the gaseous form uh, is uh, uh, is sent to the CO2 compression stages uh, the CO2 compression stages for, uh, in the CO2 compression is, uh, stages this bottom part. Uh, first, we need to remove the water that is uh, as a, a small quantity of water that is present in the carbon dioxide. So this is removed by using a water knockoff drum in which uh, a water is uh, water is passed through CO2, removing the rest of the vapor water vapor content in it. After that, the CO2 is then sent to a multi-stage compressor uh, where it is compressed to uh, to 15 megapascal and sent to storage. So as you so this is the simulation that we've done so far. So the heat exchangers the, the, that have been shown in the simulation are all to recover as much heat as possible. Uh, so then minimum heat requirements are required. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope that uh, this brief explanation has uh, covered some topics as to what we've done so far. Thank you.